Okie dokie. Here we go. We are pressing on in chapter six, doing more and more work with percents. <clears throat> and so what I want you to do is take a look at your notes. I want you to make sure you've got this heading up at the top. Chapter six, section three. Okay, finding percent, finding percent. No, it's not like we're going searching on a scavenger hunt or anything. You actually, maybe it should say calculating percent. That would make more sense, huh? That's what we're doing today. All right, so here we go. Learning target for today is going to be really, really hard. You're going to find percents. You're usually going to be given some kind of ratio, some two numbers, because remember a ratio is a comparison of two numbers. We usually write it as a fraction. And from there, you're going to turn it into a percent. Okay. But I need you to think, think, think about it. And so I'm going to kind of make you do a little more work today than maybe you're used to. Not just crank it out, but I want you to think about it. Okay. So here we go. What percent of 92 is 66? So jot that down. What percent of 92 is 66? And then I want you to draw the good old bar, or some people just like to draw a number line or something. And remember, the way I'm using this tool is that this represents from 0% to 100%. So this is one whole, okay? And it says now, what percent of 92, okay? So the of 92, 92 is my whole amount right now, okay? Don't do any rounding right now. Today, we're now we're actually gonna use this as a guide think, oh, about how much is it? Because something happens the minute you grab this, somehow the brain stops thinking. And I need you to be thinking to make sure, hey, does my answer make sense? Is it in the ballpark? Or was there a little bit of or, or, operator error? I pressed the wrong button. Oh, good gracious. Okay. Get what I mean? So I'm going to make you think about it. And then we grab the tool. All right, here we go. 66. Okay, now when I look at 92, and this would be zero, these are the numbers, the percent is down below. This is exactly halfway. What would about half of 92 be? Well, well half of 90 is 45. So this is around that 40, 46 actually would be like halfway. So 66, oh yeah, that's a ways here. It's not all the way, but it's somewhere in this land, okay? somewhere in here. So I have a picture in my head and I'm thinking, what would be your estimate? What's your guess as what's a reasonable percentage here? This is 50%. Here's a hundred. So it's somewhere in there. I don't know, maybe 70%. Maybe, I don't know, something like that. That's my guess, 70%. All right. Now let's actually do it. Okay. Now we do it. Today, I want you to think of it this way, good old proportion way. I know that percent is always some number out of 100. So I'm going to use N for N out of 100, okay? Maybe you want to use P. I don't really care what letter you use, okay? But percent is something out of 100, okay? Now, what is, I have 46 out of 92, 46, or I'm not 46, oh, 66, sorry, 66, because 66 will be up here somewhere out of 92. Okay, what is this? Well, go ahead and use your mad cross multiplying skills. I know N times 92 equals 100 times 66, and then I'm going to divide by 92, Phew, divide by 92. All right, see what you come up with. Then, depending on the answer, we'll have to talk about whether it's a good idea to round or not, okay? So here we go. 100 times 66 divided by 92. Ooh, this gives me a giant number, okay? I'm going to tell you, go ahead and round, but round to the tenths place, okay? Round to the tenths place. That's one decimal point. So the number I get right here, the n, at this point, and I'm going to put squiggly equals because this goes like this. 71.739134. Okay. So let's round this tenths place. You look next door. The three says, whew, stay. 
So I'm going to round it to approximately 71.7, and then you have to put the percent key on there, percent symbol. Okay, 71.7%. Does that make sense in our estimate? More than 50, less than 100, kind of sort of in between there somewhere. That makes sense. So let's look at another one. What percent of 220 is 88? Okay, so first I want you to visualize this. I want you to draw the bar. Here's 0%. Here's 100%. 220 is my of number, 220. So that's the whole thing, okay? 100% of 220 is 220. There we go. All right, here would be 0. So in the middle here, this would be about 110. Okay, that's halfway. That's 50%. I'm asking you, hey, give me an idea of where 88 is now. 88, 88. Well, well that's probably somewhere up in this land, maybe. 88. I don't know exactly yet, but I've got an idea. Make a guess. What's your estimate? Well, mm -hmm. what do you think? Um, 80, you know, I'm probably, I'm, I'm more than halfway up to the 50%. So like here, that would be 25%. And I know this would probably be more in 50 land. So 80 land is definitely pushing. So maybe I'm in the, I don't know, 40% range, somewhere in there. Let's check. Let's see what happens. Huh. A percent is always a number out of 100. Okay. And I'm comparing that as to what 88 here out of 220 is. That's how we're going to calculate it. Okay. N times 220 equals 100 times 88 because these are my cross products. Okay. And then that gives me like 8,800. And then I'm going to divide by 220 and hot diggity dog. This one works out so nicely. I'm not even going to use my calculator because I'm going to go here and say, well, a 22 can go into 220, okay, exactly 10 times, and 22 goes in there four times. 10 also can factor into 100. And what I'm left with is that n equals exactly 40. Whoa! that was my guess. Nice. There we go. Okay, sweet. What about this one? What percent of 14 is 42? All right. I'm going to draw a picture first. 100% over here. Here's 50%. Now, what percent of 14 is 42? Okay, hold on here. Because when you see the word of, that usually means that's your in this case, that's your 100% amount would be the 14. Now, this looks weird because now I'm putting the smaller number here. Yeah, it isn't always the smallest number goes somewhere in the middle and the big numbers here. It's whatever, what percent of, of this number equals this. So of, that's the number that goes at the 100%. But this means I'm getting a bigger number. Mm -hmm. Because, ding, 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 it's more than 100%. In fact, put another 100% on there. What's That would be at 200%. Okay, then I've got another 14 on here, which would be, you know, a total of, like, now I'm at 28. Okay. And then if I keep going. See, i got to keep going. Aha. So, that should say 200, by the way. So I'm going to get something more than 100%. Fascinating. If you set it up with the proportion, my percent out of 100 is something, or 42, I should say, over 14. Cross multiply. N times 14 equals 100 times 42. And then we're going to divide by 14, and you should get that N is 300. Aha, 300%. Does your answer make sense? Yeah, because 
this much, 100% is 14. So I got to take another chunk. That's another 14. That gets me 28. Take another chunk of 14, and that actually gives you 42. There we go. Ha, go figure. All right, so you'll see some problems like this. Maybe, maybe once you get going and you're more comfortable, the minute you see the fraction, you're just going to be able to say, well, I just divide these two. That gives me the decimal. Multiply by 100, and there you go. That's your percent. Let's look at a couple word problems now, just to make sure. It says four friends volunteered to cut the grass around their neighbor's house. You have to cut the grass? Is that one of your chores? Maybe. Jay cut 23% of the grass. Amy cut of, oops, I'm missing some information here that I might need to find out. Let's say Amy cut, I don't know, one-tenth of the grass. She apparently is lazy. And then Ken cut 0 0.31 or 31 hundredths of the grass, and Bryn cut the rest. So what percent did Bryn cut? Oh, for goodness sakes, I got four people here, and I think we'd better organize our information this way. So here's Jay, here's Amy, Ken, and Bryn. So now I guess the first thing you need to determine, <clears throat> realize that to get together, when I add them, so whatever Jay had, okay, plus whatever Amy has, plus whatever Ken cut that amount, and whatever Bryn cut, that that has to equal the whole lawn or 100%, okay? So Jay cut 23%, 23%, that's Jay, 23%, okay? But then I've got Amy, Amy only cut one-tenth. So right now we need to turn that into a percent. Aha, percent one-tenth, what is that as a percent? You might remember this as one of the go-to Hall of Fame percentages, or you might just go ahead and say, well, 1 over 10 is what percent out of 100 or what part of 100, cross, multiply, and solve. This one ends up being 10%. So Amy did 10%. Jamie did 23 So, so far we've got 33%. Now comes Ken. Ooh, Ken is a decimal. Well, what are we going to do? Well, if I looked at this decimal and wrote it as a fraction, I'd say, well, let's see, 0 0.3131. 3, that means 31 hundredths. That's what it looks like as a fraction, 31 hundredths. And it's 100. That's exactly this percent, 31%. So here's 31%. I don't know what Brins is. See, we didn't. She just cut the rest. So you need to now work backwards to figure out the rest. So what's 23% plus 10% plus 31%? Do, 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 do. Hmm. Does that give you? I, I'm counting 64%. Okay. Bryn cut the rest. So take this chunk, 64%. Whatever Bryn cut has to equal 100%. So go ahead and subtract 100 minus 64, and you should get 36%. So you can say Bryn cut 36%. Boom. All right, one last one. Miss Marvin has a savings account with approximately $214,000 in it. Score. Mr. Parson only has 35% of the amount of Miss Marvin's savings account. To the nearest thousand, what does Mr. Parson have in his savings account? Okay, now it's a little different. I'm given the percent, and I'm given one of the numbers, and I have to figure out the other one. Hmm, like here's 0%, there's 100%, 35%, <clears throat> somewhere in this land somewhere, okay? Miss Miss Marvin has 214,000. In this situation, that's the 100% is 214,000. 35% is going to be down here somewhere, okay? 50%, the halfway point, 
is going to be half of this, which would be 107,000. So what do I know? Well, here's my guess. Let's see. It's got to be less than 107,000. Okay. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, 80% something. We'll make a guess. Not 80 percent. We're supposed to think how much money, sorry, maybe $80,000. How does that sound? He's got 35 percent of hers. Hmm. Well, there's my guess. I visualized it. Now I'm going to grab and do some computation. This time you're given the percent. You know, usually we wrote N over 100, but this time you know the percent. It's 35. I don't know what this number is. That's what I'm looking for. That can be like X, but 214,000 is the total that she had in her account, and I'm taking a percent of that amount. Okay, let's cross multiply and solve. 35 times 214,000 equals 100 times X. And then to solve, I'm going to divide by 100. All right, now even I, especially at this time of the day, I'm going to wimp out a bit here. I certainly want to use my calculator. 35 times 214,000 divided by 100. I get 74,000. Got to make sure you can see this. X equals 74,000. 900. That's the number part. This happens to be money. So you can say Mr. Parson has $74,900 in his savings account. And that makes sense right here. Okay. All right. So here's your job. You are going to tackle the workbook and it's on page 42, chapter six, section three. But I want you to estimate first and then grab your calculator and go. All right, so when you get here, I said it's page 40, yep, 42. Okay, it says what percent of 84 is 21? Okay, so if you don't like drawing the bars and you just want a number line, go ahead and do that. Here's zero, there's 100%, there's 50%. What percent of 84? So 84 is here. 21, well, let's see here. What would exactly half of this be? Half of 84. It's like 42. So this is definitely down here in this realm, okay? I want you to give me a guess first. This is your estimate, okay? Somewhere down here, uh, I wanna say like 20%. But now really do it and say, well, 42, or I'm sorry, not 42, 21 was down here somewhere. 21 out of 84 is equal to what percent out of 100? Cross multiply and solve, okay? Cross multiply and solve. 84 times N is 2100. <clears throat> 84 times N. All right, so then you'll take 2100 you're going to divide by 84. And I get exactly N is 25. So the percent is 25%. Our estimate wasn't exactly right, but it certainly was close. And that's what I want you to work on. On every single one of these, I want you to have an estimate first and then calculate and get the real answer. So you should have two answers for everything. Okay? I need you to think. Awesome. All right. Are you ready to tackle it? All right. Here we go. Workbook page 42. Go ahead and get started. And as always, may the force be with you. Good luck and get going.